sharing a few beers with friends. A football game after months quarantined at home. Family reunions after so much time apart. Followed by the all too familiar tragic consequences of breaking social distancing rules. These government television spots intend to shock. COVID-19 doesn't kill on its own. Let's not be complicit. How are we complicit? Organising family parties, organising community meetings, organising sporting events without controls. Short and hard-hitting, the spots are a reminder that Peru is in the midst of one of the world's worst COVID-19 outbreaks. Hay muchas personas que aceptan este tipo de publicidad. There are many people who accept these kind of public information announcements. There are some who reject them. They may seem too harsh, but we are in a war. We have to be clear, we have to be direct, and we have to call things what they really are. Most analysts say the spots are justified, but late. Nearly six months into the coronavirus pandemic, Peru has logged the world's highest mortality rate per capita. In the current circumstances, to arouse fear could shake up a public which has become numb. But it's a very fine line. If you create too much fear, people will block it out. If it's too soft, people won't react. So the message should probably use some humour to generate a nervous laugh, then immediately offer a behavioural solution so people see a light at the end of the tunnel. Another publicity campaign seeks to honour those who have lost loved ones. This billboard has a very different message. It pays tribute to one of many Peruvians who died an untimely death from COVID-19. For him, and many like him, this campaign of public health warnings has come too late. Amid tensions over public awareness and responsibility, this campaign also delivers a hefty emotional punch. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.